When eating lunch alone at home as a latchkey child in elementary school, I sometimes heard air raid sirens. I had to turn on our black and white television to learn if the sirens were a test or an early warning. In those days, I thought more about being incinerated by a Soviet warhead than shot with a gun on the streets of my hometown. At eight years old, I knew more about nuclear weapons than children should know. My dad was an atomic veteran, having witnessed an atomic bomb test detonate above Yucca Flats, Nevada, and ventured close enough towards ground zero to need a film badge and Geiger counter. He told me he experienced a blinding light brighter than the sun and saw a purple fireball that he described as the most beautiful thing he had ever seen. He was instructed to decontaminate himself using soil to wash away the potential fallout. My dad lived to be 81 years old. I didn't know enough about genetics to understand if what happened to him might have affected me. So when I look into my daughter's eyes, I see a miracle. I knew I wanted to be an engineer after seeing a computer play chess with an astronaut in the film 2001 A Space Odyssey. But after years as an engineer, I noticed there were still so very few other black engineers. My sense was that when I arrived to do professional engineering, I needed to park my culture at the door. Also, I just didn't want to be the only black person doing engineering somewhere for the rest of my life. So I left engineering. Now I'm a science teacher educator. I have the opportunity to relearn science and help teachers help students learn science. I know better that it takes a fabulous teacher at school, if not an atomic dad at home, to make a difference in the life of a young learner. The educator in me is having an impact on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics teaching and learning in K-12 public schools. The engineer in me wants to help invent ways to make teaching and learning more personalized using new technologies and the sciences of learning. This is my way to address diversity, equity, and inclusion. <laughs>